Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Ruby from Scratch series. In this episode right here, we're gonna talk about object initialization. Okay, so what is object initialization? So when we're doing product.new, that's when we are calling uh, uh, an initialize method in our class. Now, by default, uh, you know, when you define a class, you know, the initialization method is already taken care of, but sometimes we need to customize it. For example, like right now, if I go into IRB and I do require product, you know, for us to generate a, create a product, so we can do game equal product.new, uh, you know, we have to create product.new and then we have to do game.name equals you know, God of War. Uh, and then, you know, we get the, the name and the, all that stuff set. But what if we actually wanted to do all that in one line? We want to define, give it a name and a price all in one line. Well, we can do that. So what we can do is we can write our own initialize method. So def initialize and the name price end. So uh, this method is called when you call new. Uh, essentially, that's all that is. That's all this initialize method is. And it is, it is a special method. It's not like something that you can just make up. Uh, you know, when you call new, Ruby actually calls the initialize method. So let me show you what that, what I, uh, how this works. So I'm gonna do name equals name. So basically, we're gonna be able to pass in the name of the game and then the price uh, as arguments, and then we're gonna assign them to the instance variables. So price equals price. All right, so now I'm gonna exit and go to IRB and then require product. And now what I can do is game equals product.new. And then here we can put God of War. And then we can put uh, the price, hit enter. Now, if I do game.name, it's just, everything is set. Like all in one line, we do product.new, we give it a name and we give it a price. So what if we wanna take this a little bit further? So in the case where if we had like, you know, hundreds of attributes we wanna set when we create a, pro uh, a product, I mean, you know, that might even be difficult to do, but what if we had like, okay, five to 10 attributes and, you know, do we have to, um, you, know, you know, create, you know, five lines, you know, and pass five arguments? Um, and the other problem is that it has, the arguments have to be passed in, in the correct order. So uh, I'm gonna keep this episode short uh, but what I'm gonna do is in the next part, so this is gonna be a two-part series, uh, two-part video of this uh, object in, in initialization. Um, in part one, I showed you guys how to basically pass in the attribute when you instantiate the product, instantiate the, 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 the class, the object. And then in the next episode, I'm gonna show you how to clean this code up a little bit further. So take it a little bit further than here. Um, so like, share, and subscribe if you found this video useful. Also check out our site, become a member uh, for nine bucks a month uh, to get access to our Ruby uh, and Rails content. So we have member exclusive Rails videos on our site. So check that out if you wanna build projects with Rails. Uh, with that, I wanna wrap up this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.